Hi, my name is Suhid. I am building my data portfolio. In this video, I'm going to explain a project that I worked on recently. I did an analysis of my performance in Valorant. Valorant is a tactical shooter game that is 5 vs 5 players. The attacker team tried to plant the spike, which is the bomb in CSGO, and the defender tried to defuse it. The game has different type of agent. Each agent has its own abilities. There are four types of agents. Sentinel, Duelist, Initiators, and Controller. The question that I need to answer during my analysis are, who are the best agents that I've played with? What is my main type of agent? Which map that I have the most win? Who is the best agent based on map? In addition to that, a small machine learning model that predicts the win lost and the key ratio. Riot doesn't provide public API. Meanwhile, there are several websites that use Riot API for Valorant, like TrackerGG. So, I thought the easier way to achieve this small project is scrapping the data from that website. Digging in the aspect element to find the API link tr that TrackerGG used, I found several API calls. One of that has matches summary of competitive matches. To read in the JSON result, I conclude that is the right API link to my project. In JSON result, we have an array of matches. Each match contains different attributes, such as time, match result, name of the map, engine name, and other details. I created a web scrapping script using Scrappy library of Python. After defining the URL link, I created a variable that loads the response in a JSON format. I loop through the matches and get from each map the date, map name, match results, agent name, kills, and all of this data till the rank. While getting this data, I use the time.slip to prevent my IP address from getting banned. Because whenever com your computer calls another machine many times simultaneously, the machine provider has the possibility to ban the computer from having those calls. After getting the result, I save them in a CSV file that I'll use to have some data exploration. In the Jupyter Notebook, after loading the data in the data frame, I checked if there are any null value. Actually, there wasn't. In the data cleaning part, I just thought about dividing the data column into two columns, day column and hour column. That it will give us more details in our analysis. In the data visualization, I try to answer my questions. First, I display the best agent that has the most kills. Based on this bar chart, we can conclude that Omen, Sage, and Cypher are the, three, the top three agents in the term of kills, followed by two juries, Jet and Phoenix. But is it enough to say that they are the best agent I ever played with? Let's dig deeper to see what we can find. So, I did another calculation where I calculated the normalized KD ratio. As you can see, there are additional results. Reina Agiolis has higher highest KD ratio of 1.119, followed by Killjoy as Sentinel with 0.84 and the Omen Cypher and Sage. As a result, we have three Sentinels, one controller and one Geolist. Next, I tried to see my performance based on map. According to the graph, the most popular maps with a high win rate are Ascent, Haven, and Bind. Actually, as a Valorant player, these maps are the first ones that come with the game, so I'm very familiar with them. Split, on the other hand, is a cursed map. Finally, I had all my answers in a table that summarized my top agent with the map that I perform well. This table provides all the information that I acquire. As we can see, I'm a Sentinel type of player who does not play aggressively as a duelist. I enjoy playing Ascent, Haven, Fracture, and Icebox. My main as a controller is Omen. In this machine learning section, I will use a model called linear regression to predict the key D ratio for the agent and the map. Logistic regression is used to predict win loss outcomes for the agent and the map. Finally, those models could not provide a good prediction because there are so many features that should be implemented in the ML input, such as ping, packet loss, computer configuration, team MMR. Those features will provide a good prediction with high accuracy. Finally, I finished my project with a small dashboard using Power BI.